Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm covering with you today some major developments in Giga Berlin in Germany. We have some great updates here. Furthermore, we will look into the company store dot and the um, yeah tests of the electric vehicle Tesla for the jape.deep.power um, survey. So um, if you do enjoy that, do consider subscribing and we will start right away with Grünheide because um, as I mentioned many times on this channel, I was pretty confident that once the fundament and the ground is actually laid and it is ready to go, that the building for the battery cell production will actually um, be built pretty fast. And in the past days, we have seen a lot of improvements and actually now we can kind of see how the building might look like and how big it will be. And we do see these um, yeah, um, pillars um, being installed in that pretty, pretty fast. I must say that they must have prepared everything for that moment. And now it is going pretty, um, we have cranes here, we have three, four different cranes. Um, so that is looking all good. So I do expect some major, major improvements in the next few weeks. Um, for my personal opinion, I think in the next four weeks, um, they could actually achieve to have the um, base building um, ready. Then they might take another four weeks to actually um, close all um, um, walls around the building. So eight weeks and then this would be by end of October. And adding to that, I do expect another eight weeks till the end of the year um, till they have everything installed or the base, um, what they need to produce batteries installed inside the battery cell production. So if we are not having any more issues um, or any um, supply chain issues, which I don't expect because it is everything produced locally here, um, then I do expect um, the building to be ready to go by the end of the year, which would be plus minus the time frame that we were expecting. So um, then it is all about the issues that still have to be solved with the new battery cells, the 40. 680 cells so if they can solve um, the um, output um, the batteries that are not um, usable um, to 90 percent 95 percent then i think by first quarter of 2022 um, a slow and really low production of batteries could actually start here in Germany. And that would be a good sign. And this would mean that we would have a lot of room um, to move forward and especially then um, cover um, the production that is gonna be ramped up here in Germany. So um, maybe we don't need that many batteries from Nevada um, as expected before. So if they keep up with the speed and if they continue with the speed, of course, that is very likely. Then I want to talk about another thing because there in the in the United States um, there is um, J.D.Power and they do pretty much like tests um, and surveys um, of people buying a car and how many issues they had. And uh, there are 100, uh, 231 issues or problems um, per 100 cars. Um, and Tesla in this study is actually pretty behind. Um, they were last place and then they are now the third last. They're catching um, up to Volkswagen and Audi and Chrysler are yeah, in the last spot. So I want to tell you something about that. The main issues that occur are the main quote problems in the car occur in the infotainment system. And um, what we see is that companies are well in the first spot where they have like a simple infotainment system, but not an infotainment system like Tesla. And somehow it seems to be no surprise that the companies with the most complicated infotainment system are the last because the most issues or so-called problems um, in this entire test are coming from the infotainment system. So what I find really um, odd here is so a company is building a great, very, very good infotainment system that without a deny Tesla has. 
So if someone is buying such a car like a Tesla, it is for me um, a no brainer that if you're new, you have to kind of take care and study how to use a Tesla, how to use the infotainment system, how to connect your smartphone. And one of the issues that they state here is that the smartphone Android and the Apple CarPlay are actually not working or it is really hard to connect it to a Tesla car. Furthermore, um, they state that they cannot uh, provide any more information about the issues and prob problems in detail. And that is putting me in a situation where I'm saying, well, that's pretty weird. We have no idea what other issues are there with the Tesla car and why Tesla is so way behind to all the other car makers out there. So um, please let me know your personal opinion about that because to be honest with you, when you build a great product and of course, based on a technology point of view, of course it is more complicated as a car that we have seen in the past 20, 30 years with a really simple infotainment system. So of course you have to study, you have to learn what the functionalities are, where you find which button and how you use that. And this will take a bit of time, but once you understand it, then actually everything is working pretty well and you will be amazed how good Tesla is doing the infotainment system. So we still do know that there are other quality issues, especially here in Europe when we had the cars coming from the States, there were a lot of small quality so-called issues like not 100% perfection in the production. And this actually changed once we had cars coming from China that are now in a new factory and have new style of production. And this is um, helping to make the um, quality of the car even better. So please let me know what you think about that. For the last point, Rivian. The Rivian IPO um, is gonna happen. Just let me know if you're gonna invest in it. And Stordot is claiming to um, have the 46.7 sales as well, size uh, sales produced as well. They will do that, but they are claiming that you can charge in 10 minutes. Um, yeah, do you think it is a gold rush and everything? Everyone is just pointing out they have the big idea here. Just let me know. And um, thank you very much for listening to my video today. And I appreciate your support. And like we started, I told you, um, there's a lot of hype around battery, so um, maybe it is just a PR stunt. So I wish you all a wonderful day. Thank you for listening and um, hope to